Hello everyone, this is Becky here at Annex Creations, and we're just going to work a little bit on our boho blocks. Um, I know a lot of people are already finished with theirs, they're just waiting on partners to be assigned. I'm going to quickly go over here shortly who has signed up to swap, and um, then we'll go from there. I got the boho block swap over here on the bulletin board. And I'm going to do a different list here so that I can read it just a little bit better. There's Pam. Hi, Stitch It Pam. Hi, Safia. I've pulled out some sequins and beads to add to it, um, but we'll get to this here. So boho blocks. I'm going to say who has signed up and who's willing to to um, swap with somebody out of the country. So I know Mary's on the list. Um, and I had her down for USA. And then Kathy Whitney, I have her down for USA. And I can change those if they come in and say, no, I can switch, you know, I can send, you know, Canada or whatever. Now, um, Heather Nolan is in Canada, and she would like a partner in Canada if she can get it. And then what I need to know from Heather is, would you be willing to mail to USA or to UK? All right. Uh, Janet Nash, she said that she would, sh you know, mail anywhere for one block so janet nash i'm just gonna put international on hers and then i have ann lar and ann said that she would do international and of course myself i'll just put me and i'll do international because it'll be a small envelope So, um, Jasper, if you want to sign up for a swap, that's fine. Um, the deadline for sign up, let's go back and talk about that real quick. The deadline for sign up is um, April 7th. The mailing deadline, once you get your partner, is going to be April 15th. So, that's the last time you can sign up, and then you have to have it mailed by the 15th. Um, we're swapping one to one. Let me see. Oh, there's Leah. Let me scroll back up real quick. All right. Hi, Mina. Hi, Jasper. Leah. Kathy. Sherry. Um, hi, Janet. Hi, Anina. Um, from Monday morning, I had was sent, or I had, or I found everybody's address except Angie's. And I was going to mail Angie a card. Um, I need to look for some more. Oh, thanks, Devin. Yolan, thank you. You sign up right here, Jasper. I'll just put, and um, the only other thing I need to know, are you, do you want a USA only, or are you willing to ship international? I'll put Susan P. and then Jasper here. And the size of the block is a six-ish by six-ish. And it's boho is the theme. So I've got you on the list, um, Susan. Going back to meet work and not chatting, listening only. Okay, Kathy. Meat work. Hmm. You dividing packages of meat? You can do either. All right, so I'll just put you as an international. And um, partners will be assigned on the 8th. 
That's why I said if you want to be in the swap, you have to sign up by the 7th because the partners will go out on the 8th. And they have to be mailed by April 15th. Tippy has found a three inch piece of yarn and he just flipped it and jumped about three feet in the air. He's such a crazy cat. Anyway. <laughs> so mailing deadline is uh, April 15th. Sign up April 7th. That gives us a couple weeks to do any finishing work. So. There's Renee. Now, um, Renee, were you doing a block to swap um, or just for yourself? I'm trying to get a, a head count. And I know everybody has until the 7th to sign up. Um, you have two, so you'll swap. Um, do you want USA or would you be willing to mail international? I just need to know that. And I'll put you down here. Oh, thank you so much, Janet. That helps a lot. Okay. That'll help a lot. I just need to get with Heather and make sure that, you know, she's willing to mail at least to the USA. Because um, we only have two that are international. That is fine, too, if you don't stitch or anything. Um, we might do a paper version of this because I have been um, told that if it was done in paper that other people might play along. So I'm thinking up some kind of boho project that we could do that could be done in paper. Maybe I know we've done our tags before. Um, I can show you that previous tag. There's Heather. Heather, I need to know, do you want Canada only, which I don't have another Canadian, or would you be willing to mail your block to the United States or the UK? Because Janet Nash is the only other international I have. But I have other people that will mail international. So let me show you the boho tags that we did oh so long ago. And I keep this on a banana hook. And it's getting kind of dusty because it's up above. But this was our boho tag swap. And didn't it come out fun? And the first one is quite dusty. Let me um, lift you guys up a little bit. Yes, I know you are international, but would you be willing to mail to USA? Um, this was, uh, we did this, these are paper tags, and I'm going to take it off the banana hook here. I need to take a wet one to that. Ooh, it's really dusty. <laughs> so we'll just quickly do a flip on this old um, tag, and um, I made that one anyway. 2018 we did this and then what we did is each person made a tassel as well that and we did mini tassels together that was fun but everybody did a tassel and a tag you know so the tassel was on the top of their tag so here's this one and this has a another tag hanging from somebody else i think and this one was made by Dawn Andreas, and she has not been around in a while. I know she moved up to uh, Virginia or West Virginia, and I hadn't heard from her in a while. Might try to send her a message. So um, this tag had this huge tassel, and um, we don't really need to put tassels on our blocks unless we wanted to do a mini tassel in some way, but you decorate your blocks any way you want to. And then that's their mini tassel they made with me. And then they made a big tassel and they included some paper tube beads. And this one was done by, by Kathy Whitney. So that one was done by Kathy Whitney. OK, 
Kathy did an awesome job on all of that. Everybody did. This was such a fun swap. Now this tag, I think it's just some Rick Rack, but it's, it's like fighting with me. Just a quick flip through here. Boho tag swap. Jen Yates. And this one has all this on it. All the, um, what do they call that? I don't remember. And this one, Ruth Lamb. And this one was, ta ta da da. Uh, Danny Coleman. So yeah, we have a packet, a uh, pocket on the back of our tags here, and in it has the information of the person it was from. Um, hanging on something. There we go. That one was made by. Well, it's stuck in there. I can't get it out. Just some quick. This also gives you some ideas. We'll just flip on through here. So we could do another boho tag swap like this if we wanted to. That one's beautiful too. Mary did that one. And then the elephant. I'm back at the beginning. So let me get back around here. Oh no, I'm having issues. There we go. We'll put my mine back at the front so it can be the only one that's dusty. And then the banana hook was a thrift find and it works perfect to display this. So that was a fun swap and we could do another one, you know, so it would be another paper-based swap later not right away i've got a bunch of projects <laughs> in the works that i gotta get finished so let me show you guys what i've added to my blocks put you back down here on the table so let me see there's ann let me go back up and see if heather answered me and kimberly did you get hit with rain Gotcha, Heather. She says she can send anywhere, but um, another Canadian would be good. All right, so I'm going to put on here. All right. I think we'll, we'll get this done. So here's my blocks again. And what I did is I used some of the hand crocheted flowers that I had done and I'm going to make a couple flowers for each person in the in the swap and that'll come as a separate mailing I've got to make all those flowers um, but yeah oh hang on hang on let me see I've missed a bunch of stuff trying to share stuff um Okay, there's uh, Renee saying she can sell, send anywhere I tell her to. <laughs> um, let's see. And there's Heather coming in. Oh, it's my ice. I was like, that sounds like a stink bug going in the fireplace, but it's my ice cube melting next to me. Yeah, we could do something boho. It doesn't have to be a tag. We could do it, you know, something else. Maybe we'll do a page or two together. And we could pick a size and then just mail a page because we've tried to do the traveling journals in the past. And we had one bad apple that was keeping everybody's journals. So I will not do that again. That and it was. Yeah, it was expensive for me um, because they were overseas. And yeah. We won't do that, but we could do a page swap. Like we could say, um, set a, a journal size limit, or we could just say do five by seven or eight by 10, like a standard frame size. If you would like to frame it, if you didn't want to put it in a journal 
and just we would make them flat so they could go in a frame. That could be fun. So I'm going to pitch this so it doesn't confuse me because I got the updated version here. Um, Howard, quit being mean to your sister. And Mina had to go. Okay. Um, and Renee says, uh, what about doing a full eight and a half by 11 landscape paper, paper that is cardstock at the heaviest? Um, let's see here. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody saying they wanted to be added. Yeah, I was cooking breakfast this morning. We got woke up at 4.30 with the loudest clap of thunder I'd heard in a long time. It sounded like it was right on us. And then the wind came way up and I started looking on the phone and it said we were under a tornado watch until 9 o'clock this morning. And um, yeah, and then the power went off when I was halfway through cooking the oatmeal but I figured it was still on the hot burner that we would just let it go because it's six minutes and it's done. So then the power came back on and I was able to um, fix our oatmeal because I do loaded oatmeal where I cook a fruit in a little bit of butter so that I can take my eye vitamin because it's a, if you take any eye vitamin, make sure you've taken even just a small amount of fat because it's a fat soluble vitamin. And I had not realized it until my eye doctor told me that. So even she said, even just a little bit of peanut butter on the end of a teaspoon will be enough to break that vitamin down and put it to good use to your eyes. Um, Renee, oh my God, love my paper doll you made and all the goodies you sent. Thanks so much. Thanks for the thumbs up. Hi, Joyce. Um, and there's Anne coming in. I'm trying to scan this. Uh, I'm working on the last 26 bunny ears for a baby blanket. Oh, Joyce, I'd love to see a picture of it when you're done. Yep, that's what I kind of figured you were doing is dividing me. We do that all the time. They are not to be used as a quilt. They, they, mine is going to be decorated all the way to the edge. And so these are going to be used to like put in a journal or to frame. I'm going to frame whatever blocks I get in a shadow box frame. So, and I can put it on my art wall. Um, And uh, Jamie says, if you take vitamin D and A, needs a bunch of fat. Yeah, uh, you got to pay attention to your medications and your vitamins because you, you got to know if they're water soluble or fat soluble because there's the, the reason to take them is for your benefit. And if they're not being able to be broken down, then you have a problem. Heather says she just popped a squat. The picture photo of her square in the group. All right. Yeah, not for quilt use. Yep, these are decorative. She's pretty to look at. Yep. And um, I know my levothyroxine, you have to take it on an empty stomach and then you have to wait an hour. If you consume anything, especially coffee, it speeds the removal of the levothyroxine from your system. So you have to wait that hour. And some mornings that's really easy because I don't want anything to eat. And then other mornings I'm starving. So I don't know. 
Yep. There's so many things you need to pay attention to. Read your meds guidelines. So I've got eight people signed up for the swap. And I've gotten those that said they can do international and um, so on. So I'll be able to come up with things. All right. Now back to the blocks that I'm currently working on. I'm just going to go over some things that I'm planning to do. I don't know if you want to sit and watch me stitch all day. It's basically I'm going to be adding um, sequins. So I've pulled out of that big box of sequins that I have. And I'm going to set one aside. So I have room to show these. So I've got two different blues and then four different purples. And what I do to sew these on is I'm going to use beading thread right, like this. And the beading needle I use is inside there, right in there. And that goes through my skinny little seed beads. And I usually will use a clear seed bead. just like these little tiny clear ones. And what I do is I come from the back of the fabric, I go through the sequin, and I like to put them so they're cup up. So I put it through the flat side of the back. And then I'll go through one of these seed beads, and then I'll go back down through the sequin and back through the back of the fabric. And I'll just keep doing that until I have an area filled the way I want it with whatever I'm going to do. And since I have six colors of sequins and I have one, two, three, four, five, six outer fabrics, I might just add a few in the colors that are there. So like blue and blue and then do the purples around or I might do blue and blue. I don't know. I'm going to mix it up. So that's how I put the sequins on. And I also want to, I also wanted to add some of this trim. Oh, Kathy says she can do international. So the only one I don't know if she's willing to do international is Mary. And I hadn't seen Mary. Has Mary popped in? I hadn't seen her. Um, I have other things here. I really, 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 really want to use this. Because it's so cool looking. I don't know if I'll end up using it or not on this. I can always save it for the next project. I do want to take some of this that I got in a bag at the thrift store. It's just little sections of this string. And maybe take three strands of it and couch it around the edge. So I would put this down and then I would use an embroidery thread and couch it down on the edge. Because I think that would be pretty. Let me get you guys there. So I would do a stitch over the top, kind of evenly space it, space, space it. Oh my word. Words is hard some days. So I've got enough of that to do both squares. Um, I also had pulled this trim out, this braid. But it may be just too much because I'm planning to add the sequins too. Maybe I could put that along the bottom and only have this on the top portion of my square. I could leave, stop sewing this at the end and I could like undo that so it's a little more thready looking. And then I'm going to have the sequins on there. And I'll probably do beads in amongst where I put the flower on and then I just grab some different color buttons. I pulled colors from my background so everything kind of goes together. But I'm thinking additional seed beads in the purples and the blues in amongst the buttons could be cute. Um, so I've, I've got ideas and plans, but I really wanted to kind of solidify who really wanted to do the swap and get it in there. Renee, definition of boho is there, there is never too much. <laughs> oh, could be, could be. 
I wonder if I have enough that I could do some of this. When I couch, couch the thread down, maybe I could grab some of this. And remember to go around the corners with these trims like this, just snip on one side so that it'll bend. I might do that and have that on the edge. I think I have enough. I could just fold it in half and snip it and then just use it, whatever I have on each one. So that's some ideas. Um, and I haven't really been on long, so I might start sewing some beads on this one while you're sitting here. I'm going to, I swear that one's the one I was using with the thread. And I think I'm going to switch to a silver thread so it won't show as much. I'll just put this thread in the bead jar. I want to grab some seed beads out of my cabinet. I've got, I've got a tower of seed beads. I just got to get the ones I want. And they're in the back of the table, so I may jiggle you guys. Seed beads. All right. So there's some in blues. And seed beads in hoi pulse. I don't know how much stitching I'll be able to do. I've been working on that afghan and my back is, hmm. <laughs> I sat on the floor to put two rows together last night. Scott says, you're going to regret that. I was like, I do already. <laughs> so, put that back on there. I'll lose it. Hi, Deborah. Oh, you have a sketch class in an hour? Girl, you stay busy. <laughs> All right. So those are kind of more green than blue. Well, these aren't really seed beads. But we're going to go for it. I got to use this stuff up. There's no point holding on to this stuff. Ain't nobody else going to even know what to do with it, so I might as well use it. And to um, make sure these hold on here, this is beading thread that I got probably at Michael's when I worked there. And you get it in the jewelry making supplies. All right. Hang on. I don't know what I did with the new Dritz one. But I'm going to use my handy dandy thing again. Eye down. And then the thread has to be right up against that tower. So you have to kind of hold it down so that the little thingamabob can get it. And you push it a couple times and then it goes on. Pull one end out. And when you pull it up. That thread is on. This one's got a, a spot in it where it catches. There we go. And I probably got way too much thread here. But that sure beats trying to beat myself up, trying to see the hole that I obviously can't see. So I'm just going to add some beads in amongst the buttons here. There's Mary. All right, so I'm just going to add some beads here and there, just in a kind of a path across at an angle. And then the rest in here, I'm going to just put a few sequins here and there. So I'll just come up through here.
now it's wanting to twist so get a get a hold of it so that it doesn't and you know what I've got the knot in my finger too there we go there we go and I think I'll come over a little bit I'm just putting these in very random I'm not doing anything magical sure has gotten quiet after being so noisy this morning. There's Sophia. Sophia is busy cooking. So it's been a it's been a full day, and I know um, Yolande at Devon Rex she'll be on in a little bit to do something, probably print printery. And I probably bought these beads for a purpose, but. It's been a long time since I knew that purpose, so they're getting used right now. All right. If you don't have beads or you don't want to do beads, you could do French knots in amongst the buttons and then just, you know, not have beads on it. Of course, you got to remember, beads are going to add weight. All right, let's open another one of these here. I like these containers because they lock shut. And I've picked up some of these small guys. See if I can get control of the needle. That one won't go down. But it should work on these. Yes. And you wouldn't think these little things would make a big difference, but it always looks cool when you do some beading. So I know that the little narrow, more blue-green ones are not going to work with this needle because the eye of the needle is just too fat to go through them. And I know Heather said she, that's a problem she had with hers. This is just very random. I think there was another one over here. Oh, you're going to share your trip with us and some happy meal and hopefully some gel printing. Oh, some of my new stencil designs. Oh, Sorry, you're not feeling good. Oh, that's awesome, Kathy. That'd be awesome. I'd love to see them. That was a fun swap. It makes me happy to look up there. I have it on a top shelf over there where I can just look over and see it. Oh, I'm going through something really thick right there. I think it's like four layers of fabric. So let's see if I can pick up a lighter blue here. Oh, that's picked up one of those that doesn't want to go on it. And I am using the gray thread because it kind of just disappears into the background. 
I always think about my friend's dad that said that the best thing you can do if you buy a house and it's got walls that are like really, really like when we moved out of our first house, our bedroom was lipstick red. It looked beautiful with our mahogany furniture. But that lady said it took her 11 coats to cover it in a cream. And what he said is she should have painted it with silver first, any kind of silver or silvery gray to neutralize the red. That's what I always think about and why gray is such a good color to use. All right, let's open some purples and add some purples now. If I can get the thing open. I'm going to move my sequence for a minute. And you can add as many beads as you want. Like Renee said, you can you can go as crazy as you want to. Allie's in the middle of having her craft space redone, so. That'll be so fun when, you, when it gets all done. It's always good when you can get settled into a creative space so you can just you know you have that space to go and and play. I'm just going to focus on this one little spot and add some different beads. When I get done with this and that afghan, I'm going to need to do some things that don't involve my back as much, at least not my upper back. I need to start doing some yard work before the city comes around and says my grass is too long of course it's been pouring rain today so i'm not going to go out there and mow it today oh yeah all right i think we need some lighter purples to just or even oh do i have any yellows wonder if I got any in this mix thing I got at the at the thrift store. That's kind of a peachy color. Let's stick that on there. I need to catch up with my sister. I shared her new toy in my group. She has a little mini wheel that she can make tiny little pots with. I don't know. Did I share what she pulled from the Ana Amagama quill, uh, kiln the last time? I don't know that I, if I shared any of them, but oh my word. She had a couple pieces that I was just drooling over. And then she said, I'm keeping this one. <laughs> it was gorgeous. Oh, yeah, some peachy yellows in amongst the beads would be pretty, too. Come up, see if I can find a, another yellow in here. Let's move this out of the way. It's just another thing of beads. Let's see if I can see some more yellows. Oh, there's a, there's a shiny clear yellow right there. Sometimes it's easier to pick these little beads up with the needle than it is your fingers. Just aim for the hole and see if you can catch it. Yeah, see, I want to fill this up with just little sparkly bits of beads. I think that'd be really pretty. Oh, you have snow? Oh, my word, Pam. It's just been pouring rain here. What really freaked me out, though, was the we were under a tornado watch. And the sound went kind of tornado-y uh, mid-morning mid, uh, of trying to get Scott. And he was thinking he was going to get drenched by the time it was time for him to leave because the rain was just coming down so hard, but miracle of miracles, I guess. 
it just stopped and he was able to get in the truck without getting soaking wet and off to work he went. I wish I could find another of that peachy color. This, uh, I don't know what all's in here. It, it was just this mixed bag when I bought it. That one looks a little peachy. Got a little bit of lightness in here. If you don't watch... Uh, Susan Taylor Brown. Are these your favorite color? I like um, blues, but I also like earthy greens. Not bright greens, but the earthy ones like moss and think nature. Those greens I like. But I look good in these colors. <laughs> Yep. I know Joyce and Peg have been doing big clean outs. And then I posted a video of um, a sewing buddy friend online here. Um, Angela, she was cleaning out her closet. She was taking it serious. She pulled everything out and piled it on her bed. And she had some to go to donation. And she said she's got a few pieces in a cardboard box that's in timeout and to see if she can lose, you know, five to 10 pounds or if she's even still interested in them in like three months. Let's see if I can get this to come up over here. Uh, A friend uh, posted um, that a local police officer was killed, um, I guess, over the weekend. So she had the badge with the black on it today. I I, I not heard anything about it um, because we don't have a we don't have a TV to watch TV on. We watch Netflix, and it's Greg's TV, so. If he's up and about and using his TV, we don't see much anything. We get everything on the internet. I know Peg's been cleaning out the garage at her place. Had to bring in a dumpster and everything. Oh, I dread that day. <laughs> Yeah. When I worked and managed at Joann's, when a, an officer was fallen um, locally, the, they all came through to get some black elastic to put a, around their their badges. Uh, we haven't used one of these. Let me turn this. I want one of these. I got to be careful or I won't have any chunky to use on the other one. There's Pam. Hi, Made by Pam. I have the pattern for the cat couch and I started it, but 
then we ended up moving back here. I have the foam for it and everything. I never finished it. I'm a bad cat mom. Pattern's still here somewhere. Uh, another yellow. This running around in here is full of beads. <laughs> it's got all these little holes. So it's got all these seed beads inside it. I want that yellow one right there. It's not quite the right yellow, but it'll expand the yellow. Mary says she's going to the balcony. Hi, Kim. Y'all, uh, fortunate creative is Kim, and she's she's been she does coffee with Kim in the mornings. So if you don't catch anybody outside, you might catch Kim. Yesterday morning, um, Scott and I had both had a bad night sleeping. We both developed really bad migraines. He said his got to a point where he was seeing the flashing white light around his eyes when he was at work. He said, if I'd been at home, I would have gotten in the recliner and just passed out. But he he hung out at work until it passed. But yeah, it was bad. So after I got him off to work, which I don't know how I cooked breakfast yesterday. I don't even remember what I made. So I hope it didn't make him sick or anything. But um. I fell back asleep and I woke up and realized it was Tuesday and I must have just missed the trash truck. So I'm going to have two weeks worth of trash unless we decide to take it up to the dump ourselves, which I don't really want to do that this weekend because I just don't want to. Wish I had more of those real pretty peachy ones. This is like treasure hunting in here. Oh, there's one. Don't have my ears in, but here all the same. Hi, Dusty Unicorn. Yeah, that little couch is cute. Um, I don't know if my cats would use it. They like just thrifted... Um, wicker baskets with a, a fleece blanket thrown on top of it or even just a section of fleece from the fabric store that I've you know folded up I thought about turning them into beds but they're easier to wash as a folded you know piece of fabric that all of the bedding for the animals needs to go in the laundry but I'll get to it So my plan is to kind of have these beads in all these different colors come up and maybe go out this way just a little bit and then come down here a little bit. And then I want to put the sequins on it and the, I'm going to couch that thread down. I really want to use this. Really want to use it. I don't know. We'll see. Yep. Devin's got to go. See y'all later. Well, you know what they like right now is when I'm sitting on the floor working on that granny hexy thing that I'm working along with Lucas at Lucas Yarns. They all, I had the, I had the blocks all laid out. I was working on how I wanted the design to be because I want, I ran out of one green, so I had to switch to a lighter yeet. Green. So I'm trying to spread the lighter greened ones out so it looks balanced throughout my afghan. And I had them all laid out. And here comes Howard. <sighs> yeah, that was that. Oh, Kathy had to go. Or are you just saying bye to Devin? You wanted to add some sequin bead things, but 
Can't find your sequins. Oh, they're there somewhere. They're just hiding out for a minute. So that is my plan. Man. But I think I need to take a break from all sewing and crocheting for just a little bit and let my back chill out for a little. So I might get in the recliner and do something that's not working with my hands for just a little bit. And it's Wednesday and Scott usually picks something up on his way home. But if he sends me a message about picking something up, I'm going to say, no, not today. We have so many leftovers. I can't cook another thing until the leftovers are dealt with because I'm not going to waste food. So that's going to be my answer. Oh, and our favorite pizza place. New York Pasta and Pizza. They got a C in their health inspection. So we won't be going there for a while. Apparently they had cooked ground beef sitting on the floor in a pan. Big no-no. They had some other issues. So we won't be going for pizza. I love going there because it's like being back in New York. I love walking in and somebody saying, hello, how you doing? And I love that. <laughs> they don't say that here. Here you might got, you know, you might get, hey, y'all, how you doing? Not a, how you doing? You have to be from New York to understand that. Anyway. You knew where they were before you redid your room. My grandmother, Kathy, she would say, um, now stop. Think about the last time you had that. Now put yourself right there. And she'd make me walk to wherever it was. And she'd say, now think. <laughs> like I hadn't been standing there, you know. I have never been to New York City. Um, in my entire life. And I lived the first 18 years in upstate New York. So upstate New York is not the New York everybody thinks of. Upstate New York is beautiful green woods. And in the fall, it's stunning. And I miss it sometimes until I hear about, you know, 12 feet of snow. Um, power out for a week and a half. <laughs> oh gosh. Just like your grandma. Yep. Now think about it. Think about the last place you had it. And then that would be followed by, followed with, you should have a place for everything and keep it in its place. <laughs> My grandma. She was something to take me on in her 50s after raising nine kids of her own. Oh, I'm getting hoarse. Hoarse sounding. Oh, come on. I like the shiny yellow ones. This is going to take some time. One bead at a time. One bead at a time. But I like having the beads on there. I think that adds a lot, the little beads. My Uncle Bert was a big, how you doing, kind of guy. And he loved learning a new word every day. He'd learn a new word and then he would try to put it into the conversation throughout the day. Um, he just did that. He loved to talk to the mailman because the mailman was another uh, word guy and he, they would sit and talk about the word of the day when he'd drive up to drop mail off. I mean, we were rural delivery, so... Yep. 
Yep. Lots of green. All right. I think I'm at a point where I need to tie this off and I've got string going everywhere, but I'm, I'm planning to frame mine and I think most people are going to put them in a fabric journal. So one, two, three. Oh, this beading thread sometimes is infuriating. <clears throat> so that is my plan to add a bunch of beads. And thankfully I have until the 15th to get these both sewed up because I want mine done at the same time. So when my partners comes, they will get framed. So I'm going to hold this up so you can see the beading better. And I want the yellow in there just to bring out the yellow of the flower. I think that'll be pretty. I might even add some other French knots. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let you guys go. And um, again, if you decide you want to be in this swap, just get in contact with me in some way. And I will add you to the boho block swap. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I choke it's myself. Um, no, swap partners will not be assigned until April 8th. You have until April 7th to sign up. April 8th, you get your partner. April 15th, the blocks have to be mailed by then. Oh, that way they'll all get to their destinations. Of course, international will take, you know, a little bit longer. Although sometimes when I mail things out, like if I mail postcards to say Cheryl and JL and then to Janet Nash, sometimes Janet Nash gets hers in the UK before the other two in the USA, which I can't figure that out. Thank you. All right. Um, Devin will be on in about 30 minutes. Her notification just came up, but she usually is on at 2.30. So um, I'll see y'all later. Bye.